Charities, DJ King Cat, Tim King Cat does a lot of charities and we give back a lot. Uh, but today was one of the hardest days for me because we went to orphanage and we saw kids with disabilities. And it's really hard for me to talk about it. Like I just started tearing up and because like I feel like the all my problems seem to be so small compared to what these kids are going through. And you know, like, like I caught myself there, almost like crying. But I looked at all them kids, and they were like so happy, you know. And I gave this toy to a little girl, and instead of taking it, she gave it to somebody else. And I was like, oh my goodness, these kids have huge heart. That even kids like with no disabilities wouldn't do that, you know? Like we we kind of were raised in that selfish world where people take, take, take and they don't give. So I was really, really impressed and really proud of these kids. And, um, you know, they made me laugh and we had a fun day. But, you know, it's so sad that most of them cannot even eat themselves. So you literally have to hold them. Even if 15, 16, there was a lady who was like 30 years old. You have to hold them, you know, and, and actually literally like feed them. And it, it, it's very heartbreaking, but I'm so happy we did that because I felt like we can put this message out and make people come to orphanages and come to different shelters and help people out. I believe in giving back whenever, whenever I can. And um, last year, it was just crazy. Last, yeah, last year, right before we started our, our tour in Asia, Kat and I went to um, to a homeless shelter in Los Angeles, and we volunteered, you know, to, to feed to feed everybody and help, you know, just just help all the homeless people and. You know, it was crazy. I, I remember telling Kat, like, wow, we should do this more often. And no matter how busy we are, let's just make time, you know, I mean, even whenever, just to just to help and give back. Because I believe, like, all, to be honest with you, all the success that we had and touring around the world, I was really happy. I mean, I'm, I'm, to be honest with you, I'm very happy, but... The moment when you actually can go into a homeless shelter and, and give back, when you walk out of there, it's like, you feel happy inside. I felt fulfilled, you know? I felt like, that's living, you know? What's living if you, you can't help others? Because for you to get where you're at, someone helped you too. So, and today's trip was very special to me because not that I just went to an orphanage, I, I went back to the motherland. And this goes back to like my family always wanted me to go back to Vietnam and you know to connect to the roots. And you know, this was just a great opportunity for me to just go there for the first time and and visit these these children. And right when I walked through that door. Their energy was, they, uh, how do you say it? I felt like they brightened my day right away. You know, there was so many kids, they, they came up to us, they were grabbing us. It was like they already knew us. We were passing out, you know, milk for the kids and they were running out, they wanted more, they were grabbing the toys, they were so happy. Where I felt like they, their energy, you know, rubbed up on us. And it's almost like we knew them already. It was just so crazy. And 
It was for me. For me, I was inside. I was telling myself, like, don't break down. Don't break down. Because the last thing you want to do is come in here and just break down. I mean, it's hard for a lot of people. But I came in there with a, 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 with excitement. And I wanted, I was ready to meet everybody. And I'm really grateful. Kat and I were really grateful to be able to have an opportunity to, like, visit such an amazing place because like Kat said, you know what I mean? It's like you look at back at your life, like all the little things you might get frustrated about or anything that bothers you, just remember there's other people out there that have a hundred times more problems than you. So it was a it was a great day. It was amazing. And I met a special um And today I also met a special girl. Her name is Hui. And I was actually really close to her. I was talking to her. And, you know, I was helping her, you know, feed her. And, you know, I've never done anything like that in my life, to be honest with you. And, and it was very, I don't know. It, it, it made me felt something inside. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but it was almost like a warm feeling. And this is definitely something we want to do more, you know what I mean? Like definitely do more charity work. And yeah, we're just really thankful. Hey. <laughs> ah. hey, hey, no, 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 no. Okay. no, 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 no.